Hey, this is Kevin here with Fandroid. I'm at the Motorola Droid Razor launch event for Verizon. I'm actually with Samir here. He's with Verizon. He's going to give us a quick rundown of some of the uh, major features of the, the new handset. Sure. So the first thing you'll notice is that this device is extremely thin and light. And it's really sturdily built. Um, it has a Kevlar backing. On the back you have a 1080p uh, HD camera. Um, the front is also a HD capable uh, camera, so when you're video conferencing with someone, it is an HD 720p. Um, it's, it's running uh, Motorola custom UI, and uh, you see that it's really responsive. The device is a gig of RAM, um, a lot of that co contributes to the responsiveness, and um, it also supports web doc. Um, so, so this is one of the first devices that's going to have uh, Netflix um, running HD streams. Uh, the devices, uh, Netflix requires devices to be uh, completely secure for HD streaming, so this device will be doing HD streaming. Uh, the video can be output through the HDMI cable. So that'll stream to an HD TV. Exactly, exactly. And um, you know, if you look at the bit rates that you're using when you're doing HD streaming over Netflix, you're, you can average about 5 megabits per second depending on the uh, type of video that you're actually streaming. And that's all through the Verizon LTE. It is all through Verizon LTE, and you'll, you'll notice that it's flawless. Um, I don't know if this this particular device has Netflix enabled. Um, it's probably because it, this isn't a secure unit, but the, the ones that have end-to-end -end security do have Netflix enabled. On it. Um, some of the key features that were touched upon was uh, Motocast. So these are albums that are stored on a user's PC, and um, this is all over the network. You can you can essentially view pictures or uh, share pictures, and any pictures you take on the device get synced back to your PC automatically. Um, the other thing that we talked about, uh, that Sanjay talked about, was smart actions. Um, the smart actions basically allow um, allow you to set up rules uh, to be able to um, change the behavior of the device. Uh, I think there's apps on Android Market that do something similar, except this is built into the device, so uh, you can basically accomplish um, tasks using uh, a GUI-driven interface. So you can see, you know, when I'm in a particular Wi-Fi coverage or if I'm in a particular location, do these things. And uh, they're completely customizable by the user, and the main aim is to uh, improve battery life uh, so that the device uh, last longer. You get about 12 and a half hours of talk time on this device. Does that have a removable battery? It does not, it does not have a removable battery. Um, and uh, it is the, 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 the side slot over here for... Uh, sorry, I don't have nails. So, you don't have to download all your contacts, your SD card. It comes, it comes installed with a 16 gigabyte. Uh, so there's the you don't need to micro SIM you know, in there and an SD card. Um, the device the has uh, 16 gigs inbuilt, right of which I believe cards. 8 gigs is could, reserved for I the system, and the other 8 gigs are for users. Uh, so um, the web, the web doc yeah. stuff yeah. uses yeah. up a lot of uh, on-device memory, so I think it's close to about a gig image. So um, there are going to be several web tops. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a several. I think there's, there's at least two or three models. Uh, they probably have a few back there on this way. This is one of them. Uh, this is actually, I would call this an accessory dock, really. Uh, the, now I'm streaming directly from my own PC. The PC-like docks, I think there's two or three models of those. I'm not exactly sure. Okay. Um, but there is a newer one that's bigger than the ones that uh, Motorola released in the past. A much bigger screen and uh, it, it allows you to do full screen Firefox and so on. So it, it's much, much better experience. Um, with uh, the music player, you have the same thing. You can uh, uh, go and view your own library that's on your PC. Um, and all of this is going to be streamed off of uh, your home network. So it's got the, the cloud features like that. It's got the dual core processor, yep. big battery, all that. And it's all just, what's it, 7.1 millimeters thin? 7.1 millimeters. Yep. That should be the thinnest thin set on the market. Yep. Right? And, and probably one of the lightest. Yeah. All right, very and, cool. Yeah, even with all of that, it's still really, really sharp. Yeah, it's got that steel core. That's yep. Part of the... Very cool. All right, so that is a look at the merger of two of Motorola's most iconic brands. You have Droid and Razor coming together for the first time with the uh, super thin Droid Razor coming out on Verizon in November.